That's good. I think that's really good. There's nothing wrong with that wine. For that much berry structure and there's berry's got length. It's got. Yep. It's all steer though. It's good. I really like it. It's. Uh, well, it's a lean on the finish. It gives you all that. But it's just, it's got a little green quality to it. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Go for it, you got oh, wait, yeah, I mean, I, I wrote this very austere, uh, slightly green, but it's got a lot of elegance um, from a cooler climate. Very clean. I just thought it was very, very elegant. Like a lot. Has length, got texture, length. minerality, consistency of flavor from beginning to end. Feminine. Um, but it, it, it has strength under underneath the delicacy. Which yeah, is a very it's got good structure. One. It's a good one. Food pair, I mean, I don't know. I mean, you, you could talk about food pairings for a lot, but I think it's, of all the wines we've had today, it's the one I would just drink and really appreciate. I think it's by far the most sophisticated wine we've had. Well, it certainly can be enjoyed by itself, but again, people are going to probably want to have a little food with this. Yeah. Um, so, you know, oh, man, just like a lamb, like a lamb tagine with like couscous and dried cranberries with maybe a little bit of, you know, some pine nuts. Just a touch, but that I think that'll go away with age. I, mean, I think it's really good. Like, I don't I mean it like that. There's nothing off balance whatsoever about it. So, the wine has a good internal energy, yeah. It's, it's with just, whereas the land, evening's land had not. And that's been open for I guess what right, right before we sat down, we've been here for what 30 minutes maybe. That's an ideal opening time. So, what is it? Um, all right, I mean, so you, you can sell this to someone who's. Not all that experience to drink it yourself to a connoisseur and they totally. will enjoy it. Oh, yeah, 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 absolutely. Totally agree. This, this is really a wine. This everybody. wine is a great wine this, in class. I think too. it's a good like write up you, already. You could, you could. Yeah, this wine's going to stand out. It's a great. Who found this wine? wine. This is like, nice. So, this is your favorite? Oh, no shit. Mm -hmm. I fucking love this wine. No, it's What's the great? Frappato and Nerado. It's 100% Frappato, isn't it? It is? Yeah, that's 50 50. Okay. That's the coast of 60 40. Oh, she's yeah. a female winemaker. By the way, she has the street with the wineries <laughs> on, by the way. But, that uh, is good wine. The 405 is the shutdown. She got that. This is Jesse from New York Vintners. I just wanted to sort of recap. This is Il Frappato from a producer by the name of Ochapinti. The winemaker is, in fact, Ariana Ochapinti. Uh, she's this really successful, fantastic young winemaker. Um, we just want to sort of sum up and give a little more information about the wine from our blind tasting today. Uh, it was the winner. It was the best wine of the day. I thought it sort of tasted a little bit more like Pinot Noir than anything else, but it proved that it wasn't Pinot Noir and is in fact this fabulous bottle of uh, Frappato. A little bit about the producer here. This is actually an entirely biodynamic production. It is also an entirely organic production, even though it does not bother to tell you that on the label. This is 100% Frappato. All right, and when I think of Frappato, I do in fact, you know, generally speaking, think about Pinot Noir as a style of wine that it tastes like. Because instantly you smell the wine, I think sort of this like, you know, dried raspberry quality, this sort of certain earthiness, and like a minerality that comes through in the wine. And it's much more sort of like delicate. And I actually like the grape on the whole better than what I taste in Pinot Noir very often. The other thing that needs to be understood about Vittoria on the whole too, and this is the area specific, is you can't sort of generalize Sicily as being really hot. It's in fact an area that's got a lot of uh, elevation, right? And so with elevation, you get a much cooler climate and a much more sort of like delicate style wine. And with coolness, you preserve acidity, right? And we always talk about what Italian wines taste like is that acidic quality. So you're preserving that. You're getting true ripeness because it is a sunny area. And with the elevation, you're not getting too much heat. So. There's a few other places in Sicily that has this, and one of which is like Mount Etna. And, and this is something that's not quite as extreme as Mount Etna, but very much has like this very beautiful style to it. These are the wines that are going to prove to be age-worthy. And not just Otopinti, but the area of Vittoria in the southeastern portion of Sicily is going to go down as one of the best places in all of Italy to produce and source wine from. And uh, you should buy this wine.